Okay, so what I'm going to do here today is to show you guys a little bit about how to smudge a mane or tail um, and also how to kind of change the colors of them to make them look a little bit more unique. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Photoshop and open it up. And open up an image, you know, file, open, browse, whichever one you want to do. My image is already open. Um, <coughs> And then the first thing I'm going to do when I'm ready to start the image is to right click on my layer panel on the image and duplicate layer. And the reason I do this is just so that if I decide that I don't like the way it's coming out, I don't have to completely restart the image. All I have to do, do is delete that layer. So what I'm going to start out by doing is zooming in. I'm going to zoom in pretty close so it's nice and, and big. And I'm not going to do the whole main, I'm only going to do part of it. Um, actually, maybe I'll do the forelock. We'll try the forelock instead. So we're going to give this horse a nice forelock. And so what you're going to first do is go to, you're probably going to have your blur tool selected. Click and hold and go to smudge. Then you're going to go up here and you're going to decrease your size to about three. And your strength, you can play around with that and see what you want to do with it. <coughs> and basically, you're just going to start clicking and dragging kind of in the direction you want the hair to, to look like it's going. If you want to do a few strands going this way or this way. Again, this isn't going to be my best work because I'm not really trying. I'm just kind of trying to give you guys an idea of what you're doing. And then what you're going to do as you go on is go and decrease your brush size so you can get a little bit more fine detail in there and it'll make it look a little more realistic. And if you want to do just some you know, some little waves and stuff to make it look kind of neat. And then go up and decrease it once more. And now you can get real fine ones in there. And this horse <laughs> kind of does not fit the image at all. Having a wavy look like this. Anyway, and then what you can do, if you want to add some color to it, go up to your brush tool, make sure your brush is selected. Then you're going to select the first one here, change it to about three. We drag your hardness down to zero, that's going to make the edges of the brush softer. Then take your eyedropper tool and just kind of pick a color. We'll pick that one, and then we'll go here, and we're going to brighten it up just a little bit, so we're going to drag it over here. And we're just going to take, go back to our brush tool, and then just do some quick streaks here. And then you can go back to your smudge tool, and you can start dragging those through. And you're probably going to want to increase your size here again. I'm going to go up to two pixels. And this will just kind of make it a little bit different. It's not going to be perfect, and obviously this is not the greatest image, as you can see. Um, if you're interested in seeing some that I've actually done well, you can email me um, at cinderhawkcreative at gmail.com. And also you're going to want to try to drag some more of the white in, so it kind of blends it a little bit better. And as I said, this is just to give you an idea. This is not good work here. And whenever you're done, you can go back to your zoom tool, and you can zoom out, or you can just hit your command, plus or minus, if you're on a Mac, on a Windows, you can do a um, control plus or minus, I would assume, and you go back in your image, and I think, as far as showing you guys how to do it, that looks pretty good.